In this segment, we'll be discussing the features and services of the Internet and the Web. Many people think of the Internet and the Web as the same thing, and those terms are often used interchangeably. However, the Internet refers to the larger network, with the World Wide Web just a small but very significant part of that much larger network. The Internet can be defined as an interconnected network of thousands of networks and millions of computers linking businesses, educational institutions, government agencies, and individuals all around the world. The World Wide Web, or just the Web, can be defined as one of the Internet's most popular services, providing access to more than 100 billion web pages. The origins of the Internet date back to the efforts by the U.S. government in the 1960s to create a network of computers that could communicate with one another. The modern Internet came about in the early to mid-1980s, when the network began to be used heavily by academic institutions and researchers. The World Wide Web is slightly more recent. It was created in 1990, made available to the public in 1993, and the first website came online in the mid-1990s. The growth and expansion of the Internet and the websites that can be accessed on the network do face various limita limitations. Uh, one of the biggest limitations is bandwidth, or the capacity to carry a stream of data from a server to the end user. Bandwidth can be thought of as a system of pipes. Only so much water, or data, can flow through at any one time. And how the pipes are laid out and connected affects the water pressure, or the flow of data, for the end user. Other issues inclu include uh, quality of service limitations, which refers to latency or delays in the transmission of data. Network architecture can also slow down the flow of data, especially when central servers are called upon to process many requests at once. For example, an intense exchange of information online can result in a site crashing due to heavy use. A worldwide reaction to certain news events or major sporting contests has caused Twitter to crash on more than one occasion. Other limitations include the computer language, HTML, used to create and display information on websites. HTML is good for such elements as text and simple graphics, but it doesn't work as well with so-called rich media and documents such as complex graphics and databases. New technology, however, is allowing programmers and website developers to design sites that can carry more complex graphics and media and which are adaptable to multiple types of browsers and newer platforms such as smartphones and tablets. The necessity to have a wired internet connection has restricted mobility, but that has changed with evolving mobile technology and the growing availability of Wi-Fi internet service in more public spaces. Government regulation, surveillance, and censorship can further restrict availability of the internet and access to various sites and services. But that limitation tends to vary from country to country. You may not exactly know how the technology works, but the features and services available over the Internet have generally become very familiar to anyone who has ever gone online. One of the most popular services is email, which allows users to spend and receive various types of messages to and from unique accounts that they create. Instant messaging services crea uh, create a platform for real-time exchange of text and other information between or among two or more users. A search engines, such as Google and Bing, a quickly sort through millions of websites looking for various keywords and features. That helps direct users to specific information. Online forums and chat services allows peer-to-peer -peer interaction online. Now, most news and other media sites offer means of discussing stories and articles with other readers or viewers and the availability to share instant feedback with others. Streaming media has become increasingly popular made possible in large part due to the increase in bandwidth available to carry larger and larger amounts of data at faster speeds. You can now stream or download huge digital video or music files that just relatively a few years ago were only available on tape, CDs, and DVDs. A feature that carries special importance for the study of e-commerce is cookies. Cookies are a tool websites use to track and store user information which is then used to personalize and customize the user's experience online. Now, this allows for advertising and other forms of marketing directed specifically at an individual's user's tastes and preferences. The primary feature of what's known as Web 2.0 is the ability to, ability to allow a degree of interactivity that wasn't previously possible. Rather than just seeing static web pages, 
Web 2.0 has given rise to online social networks and other interactive platforms. That's transformed the online experience into a user-driven community. Common examples of the success of Web 2.0 technology includes social networking. Sites such as Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Pinterest, none of these sites post their own content. Instead, users, users determine what to share with other users. From an e-commerce standpoint, this allows marketers to specifically target users based on their unique profiles and interests. Other Web 2.0 services include blogs. Originally known as web blogs, these allow users to create their own content and post links to other content from around the web. Really simple syndication, or RSS feeds. These allow users to set up their own automatic, personalized feeds of various types of digital content. Web 2.0 technology has also given rise to user-driven content in the form of podcasting. Wikis, music and video services such as YouTube and Pandora, VOIP or Voice Over Internet Protocol, allows for online audio communication. In fact, it's been said that if telephones had been invented only in the past few years, they would be more likely to use VOIP technology rather than the traditional wired system. Assuming enough bandwidth is available, Similar technology also enables services such as video conferencing, telepresence, and various web applications.